Hello everybody, I'm here at the Gurkha kitchen. I've just been starting my van up because it's been parked here during the lockdown and Andeep's been looking after it. Hi Andeep. I'm often asked by people about gear changing, when I change gears etc. I'm looking at the wrong side of the phone, I'm not used to doing this. So I'm going to talk to you about when I change gears and why I do it. The things you need to take into consideration when it comes to changing gear, firstly, is the size of the bike. With this sort of bike, an 1100cc V4, you can change gears quite early on them and the engine will still pull very well. Whereas on something like a 50 to a 125cc, you're going to have to take your revs higher in each gear. Something else as well is the level of road surface. If you're going up a steep hill, then you're going to need to keep your revs higher and your gear lower. So when we talk about low gear and high gear, we're talking about low speed and high speed. That's the easiest way to remember it, stay away from all that wet. Now for example, I'm not sure which gear I'm in, it's probably second or third, but the engine's telling me I'm doing 30, I'm at 2000 revs, so I'm quite happy to stay in this gear. If I change up a gear, the revs go down, and you can hear the engine is just about not liking it. It's just about chugging. But this bike will still take it, but if you tried it on a 125cc, it really wouldn't like it at all. You've got two types of gear changing. You've got block changing and you've got sequential. All gears on a motorbike are sequential, where in a car you can go from four to two. On a bike you have to go from four to three to two. But what we mean by sequential and block changing is doing it in one go for example clutch in and up two gears or clutch in and down two gears with that clutch still in sequential is clutch in up a gear clutch out clutch in up a gear clutch out again it's not very often you'll actually block change going up the gears the times that i personally do it is if i'm coming to a de-restricted limit and i'm from a slower speed i'll probably enjoy myself on this bike in say second gear and open the revs up and hold the revs all the way through. <laughs> right indicator, left indicator. I just need to let him know that. So I can short shift to second, bring it up, short shift to third, and I can stay in third gear now. Something else that might make you decide whether to change gear or not is something that may be happening in the future or in the near future. For example, you may get a traffic light that's been on green for a long time and it's about to change to red and I'm already in, say, second or third gear and I was thinking of changing up to fourth. On that occasion, there wouldn't be any point doing it because you're only going to have to change back down again. So on that occasion, hold your gear and then you'll soon be slowing down. That also goes for things like a row of vehicles in front of you that might be slowing down. You might see several brake lights come on on the cars in front of you. The biggest mistake people make, I see, when they're changing gears is that they'll change down gears when they're slowing down in order to brake. The problem with that, firstly, is that the gears don't really make a massive difference on your braking. All it does is makes your engine revs go up by letting your clutch out. And it does afford a very small degree of engine braking, but use your brakes. I'm going to do it incorrectly. Slow down. Here. And it did slow me down a little bit. Firstly, any advanced instructor would say that's unprofessional and doesn't sound right. B, the argument is, is that you're putting unnecessary wear on your gearbox, but I'll be honest, I've never known somebody knacker a gearbox up by changing down in order to brake. Thirdly, if you have a passenger, you're going to get headbutted. I'm coming up to these traffic lights and what I'm going to do is the correct way of slowing down and gear changing. I'm going to purposely change up another gear which I wouldn't normally do. Watch him, wheels are moving, now they're not. Lights on, moving away. You can see he slowed down there. Okay, I'm in fourth gear. So first point of braking is throttle, bit of engine braking, then brakes then one gear with my clutch still in, two gears and another gear and you can see I went through neutral then so I know I'm in first gear and then feathered my brakes off at the end. This is the order 
if you're listening to me and want to improve your riding that you should really change gears I'll do it again in a second but I'm also going to do an up change a block up change which I very rarely do I've been waiting a while at lights I'm just going to pop the bike into neutral I've got my front brake a couple of brake light flashes to let the car behind know but he's indicating right okay first gear to second to third I'm going to hold in third I'm going to get up to 50 and then I'm going to short shift up to 50 there we go clutch one two so I clutched in and I went one two with my gears and then clutch out rather than having to do it one at a time it's not very often I do that but it's an option for you you also get to know what your bike is capable of in each gear so we're coming to a 40 limit I'm slowing down engine braking is naturally doing this and select one gear little rev match The rev match, it does help match your revs, but it's not always accurate. The reason I give my revs a little blip sometimes when I'm changing gear is because it speeds the gearbox up and it actually makes my selection just that little bit easier as it's spinning faster. I'm coming up to a left turn. I'm going to show you how to change down the gears correctly. Purposely put myself in fourth gear. Mirrors, indicator, in we go to position for the turn, throttle closed, that's engine braking. Finishing with my brakes. Now, clutch one gear, two gears. Let's see what that does. Yes, it's happy with two gears. The reason I knew two gears is because I know the approximate speed of my bike in each gear. Let's try that again. Bring it up, short shift. Bring it up, short shift. And again, fourth gear, I wouldn't normally be in fourth. So throttle closed, bit of engine braking, brakes, and now the bike's resisting me, so clutch in, one, two, I didn't need to rev match then because of the speed I'm going at, bringing it round, short shift to second, short shift to third, and let's open it up, stay in third, bring it all the way up to 60, there we go, ready, clutch in, one gear, two gears, clutch out. The reason I stayed in position one then is you probably can't see it but there is gravel in the middle in position two. There's a right hand bend coming up, checking my mirrors, I'm going to close my throttle first and that gives me a degree of engine braking. Now I need to brake and I'm going to go one gear, little rev match there, nice and steady with the throttle as I go round. Move in a tiny little bit. And I can see a bend coming up, so there's no point changing up to another gear. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to simply change back down again. So let's stay in the gear I'm in. Bring the speed up, because the view is opening. And let's have a look at what's coming up. Do I change gear or not? No, there's a warning sign there telling me there's some bends. So why not stay in this gear? Throttle first. There's my engine braking. I'm not going to change down gears yet. There's no point. The bike would just go... <laughs> brakes, rev match one gear, rev match another gear. Now I did let my clutch out in between each of those gears then but if you wanted to just slow it down and change both the gears with one clutch pull then that's fine. I like to just generally use the phrase are you in control of your bike? Yes well that's fine then isn't it? Do it that way. No point changing gear I'm going up a hill and I'm going to a very tight left-hander so I'm staying in Position one, slow, one gear I think. There he is, holding it round with my clutch out. Holding it round. I meant holding the bike around the bend. It's difficult sometimes to talk whilst you're concentrating on what you're doing. There's gravel on this road. Holding the same gear, steady throttle away from the wet. Bring it up. Do I change gear? There's a left bend coming up. No, just my throttle. 
very tight again. I'm going to keep it in one, bring it down, watch the lady. And there we go for the selection of gears. That put me in first so I can short shift to second. Funeral procession, stay in one, right hand bend coming up. Keeping this gear again. I am checking my mirrors, but this lesson isn't so much about mirrors, it's more about gears. Okay, squeeze through, bring my speed down a little bit, equidistant, that's good. Now there is a left-hander coming up here, and my revs are at 2000, so I'm going to stay in this gear until I see what's around the bend. So just throttle gives me a nice little bit of engine braking. Remember, do not change your gears to replace your brakes. Always brakes first if needed, then select a gear to match the speed. Bad road surface. Now I'm going down a hill. This is another thing that a lower gear will afford you some engine braking. Sometimes, this is the only exception, if I'm going down a very steep hill and it's steeper than I thought it was, sometimes I will slow down a bit and select a lower gear. But I won't do this. You can hear the bike wasn't happy then. Turning left, mirrors, indicator, moving into position, throttle first, brakes if needed, I don't need my brakes, gear, didn't need my brakes did I? So I'm in first, bring it round, off we go, second, short shift to third, so when coming to a total stop, what I usually do is throttle, brakes, slowing down, clutch, one gear, I know I'm in neutral there, I went through neutral to first and then feather my brakes off. The beauty of that, you don't have to let your clutch out each time, but the beauty is by going down one gear at a time like that, if you have to move away again suddenly, you'll find you're automatically in the correct gear. Straight ahead at the roundabout, throttle, brakes, and one gear. There he is. Now I can't see around the corner, there's no point changing gear yet until I see what's around the corner. If it's clear, I could bring it up, but the lights are changing to red. No point going up a gear. Mirrors close throttle, brakes, rev match, one gear, keeping my clutch in, rev match, that's first gear. Sometimes I rev match, sometimes I don't. Usually the rev matching is when I'm going a little bit quicker. When I'm going very slowly, I don't bother. But some bikes, if you're not careful, won't select when the uh, bikes at tick over, so it might be worthwhile to rev match. I can see ahead, there is a speed limit change to 50. I'm already doing 30, I'm just over 2,000 revs, so I don't see any point in changing to fourth gear. Right turn at the roundabout, I'm going to change to fifth gear on purpose here, just for example. Turning right at the roundabout, throttle first, brakes, two gears I think, one, two, that's two little rev matches. I'm in third gear now, that's just at the bottom end of the third gear. If I'd have found second then it wouldn't have been so bad. But the problem with choosing too low a gear is that when the engine revs are higher, you end up with more power from your bike and it makes it twitchier. Bring the speed up, there's a cyclist ahead. Again, there's no point in changing gear because I'm only going to slow down again. If that wasn't there, I would have brought it up and changed two gears or block changed. Indicating left, checking my mirrors. I'm going to bring my speed down, I may need a gear to match. So acceleration sense, consider touching your brake lights if there's a car close, one gear. There it is, let's go, up to 50, go go go, 40, 45, 50, clutch in, one gear, two gears, clutch out. Done.
hope this has been okay for you. Let's have you practice in this. I don't want you changing gears in order to slow down. You've got a perfectly good pair of brakes for that. <laughs> Sound like you've been told off, doesn't it? Remember, the order is throttle first, then brakes if required, then gears to match the speed you're ending up taking the hazard at. I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.